All right, I want to make a quick video on the uh, uh, Armycraft uh, trigger reset spring for the uh, SIG P320. Now, if you have seen any of my videos in the past, you probably know that I'm a big fan of the SIG P320. And one of the reasons I am a big fan of the SIG P320 is because I happen to like their triggers, their factory triggers on their guns, which is why I never change any of the... Uh, triggers to any aftermarket trigger you know all my triggers are just factory triggers however as i've said you know in the past in my past videos the p320 does not have the best reset when it comes to you know their triggers now we're not talking about pull weight we're just talking about the trigger reset uh, now armory craft has came out with a spring to fix that problem and if you go to their website this spring is, is like less than eight bucks. Now that little, don't worry about that piece right there. That's just something I put in there so I wouldn't lose it. But that little the trigger spring right there, which goes on the back bottom of your FCU that connects to the trigger bar, this is this is where that spring goes. Now I it took me a while to order this to decide to order this because on their website it shows like ten percent. I think it says like a 10% better trigger reset over factory. And I was like, well, that's probably not going to be any different. So I didn't order it. Well, I think like a few days later, I decided I was going to order it because it was like it, the upgrade, it cost less than eight bucks for this upgrade. So I ordered two of them and I got them in and I actually ordered four of them. I went back and I ordered two more because when I got those other two in, I, you know, there was a, a pretty big difference on one of my other guns, which I'm fixing to show you right now. Uh, now, this is my old P320RX. You know, this gun is almost five years old. And this gun is almost five years old, and it's probably got twelve to 13,000 rounds down range. So this gun is well used and abused. You know, a lot of people don't think so, but it does. So I put the trigger spring. Now, this one has the factory trigger on it, the factory curve trigger. Um, now, I did put the trigger spring on this one. And in first, well, let me show you this one first. This is my old RX model, uh, my RX full-size model. I just switched the frame on it to the, X, the X5 frame. But this one is actually newer than this one. Um, now, you probably won't be able to tell it on video, but... The we're just looking at the reset here. The pull is pretty good on the on the P320, but the reset on these guns is a little sluggish. You know, when it comes to reset on guns, I like that. You know, I like that pushback. You know, when you let off the trigger, I like that trigger to just to just snap forward. You know, I need I need to have some force there. I like to have some force there. You know something that's pushing that trigger forward now this one has the aftermarket uh the armory craft spring on it this is the one this is one that i uh switched the spring on so you got your pull there and then you got a good push right there on the reset now that is just awesome that's just that's exactly what these guns needed if you own a p320 you, you know what I'm talking about. So, let's see. Now, this one I got for this one. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is, uh, now I know you probably cannot, you won't be able to tell on the video. This is something you have to buy and try it for yourself. Um, I'm telling you right now, there is a difference between the factory trigger and that armory craft trigger. Uh, the armory craft uh reset spring uh but like i said because it's only like a seven or eight dollar upgrade you know you won't be losing much so i'm gonna go ahead and get this installed and i'm gonna come back and show you how it's gonna look now to install this i'm not gonna do it on video um because I don't, I don't like to make install videos. I always have crap to go wrong and stuff like that. But I think what I'm going to do is there is a video 
uh, that's made by, um, what's his name? His channel is called, I think his channel is called Sig Sour Guy. Uh, he, he makes videos about SIGs too, about the P320 and other SIGs and stuff too. And uh, he does a good job at putting these FCUs, breaking them down and putting them together. He's got a video where he's uh, took off the trigger spring and the, the, the trigger bar and the trigger itself. And he will go through and show you how to, how to take off the uh, trigger spring and put the new one back on. Now, in order to get this on, you can take off the factory trigger you know, just ju just uh, break the gun down, and you can actually just take the the spring off. But in order to get this back on, you have to take off the trigger and the trigger bar in order to get this back on. Um, now, I do. If you can't do it yourself, I re I recommend you take just taking it to a gunsmith because there is there is a few tricks to uh, to getting this back on. So I've already done three of them so far, and for me, it's pretty easy. So. You know, don't mess up your gun. If you feel you can't do it, just take your gun to a gunsmith. But I'm going to link a video uh, in in um, in the description of this video to show you, you know, how you um, switch out the trigger spring. So I'm going to um, uh, get this get this done and come back and show you how it's going to look. So stay tuned for that. All right, so I got it installed. Um, as you can see here now that little spring right there that's your reset spring that's a, that's the spring that I'm talking about but for me it was a pretty easy install it took me about two minutes to install it uh, there is a few tricks to installing it so like I said before if you don't know what you're doing just take it down to a gunsmith they should be able to easily install it but uh, yeah I mean uh, one of the one of the things I wanted to say is um, when you're installing this, if you install it yourself, just make sure. Here's my factory spring. You want to keep that. Just make sure when you get the factory spring off, make sure you put it somewhere else or in a bag or something. Once you get the factory spring off, because these springs look exactly the same, you cannot tell them apart. You can you cannot tell which one is the aftermarket spring. You cannot tell which one is the factory spring. So. Once you get it off, just make sure you don't get it all mixed up, you know, in your mix with your, your aftermarket spring because you go to put it back together and you don't know which one is which one is which. So, you know, just keep that in mind when you, you know, get this in and then, you know, take it out of the bag or whatever. Just make sure you put your factory spring back in the bag. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to put it back together here. Um, now, one of the thing, another thing I wanted to say too is, when you're installing it yourself, make sure this spring. I'm gonna sort of get that on camera. This spring is sort of the the back part of the spring is straight up and down. If you can see that right there, sometimes when people put these on, this this spring is tilted forward. And then when they put their gun back together, their gun is not resetting. You know, you, you just get a dead trigger. But usually that's the problem. Make sure your spring, this spring here is the back part of the spring is straight up and down. That's why their gun is not resetting. So I'm going to get this back together here. This is my, uh, uh, I, now this is my fourth gun that I installed this on. So, you know, I know it's going to work. All right, and then I'm using the uh, gas pedal takedown pin on this one. And then slide. All right. There you go. Aftermarket spring. Now it's resetting. So, I mean, I know you can't tell on camera, but I do have a better reset than factory for sure. There's no question about it. I noticed the difference right away over factory.
Let me get a close up here. See now I have that push. I have that. I have that more of a positive pushback. Awesome. But like I said, this is the Armory Craft uh, reset spring. Now, just go to their website. I'm not going to leave any links in the description because of YouTube's gun policy. So, I mean, I can't leave any links in the description. You know, so just go to the Armory Craft website. Uh, they may be sold out because he advertises in uh, some of these, uh, the, the Facebook uh, SIG groups. So, and usually when something like this comes out, those guys will usually run over there and then just buy them all. So, so there you go. That's the Armory Craft uh, reset spring for the uh, Sig P320. Thanks for watching.